If you appreciate Saturn, like most of us, you've undoubtedly heard of Hyperion, one of its moons. In orbit, the potato-shaped Hyperion resembles a sponge and is believed to be exceedingly porous and light. What if, like Hyperion, you hollowed down an asteroid, built a colony inside it, and used that cave as a spacecraft for your interplanetary travels? It's debatable whether it'll ever be a reality, even in the far future, but it's excellent for your weekend space trip fantasies. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Project Hyperion, utilizing a hollowed-out asteroid as a spacecraft, is likely inspired by its namesake and Saturn's interesting sponge-like moon. So, what is the formula for such a starship? To begin, you utilize a massive mirror in space to redirect sunlight and melt material in the center of one of your favorite asteroids. Using super-powerful lasers, you make a tiny hole in the center and inject water into it. You keep adding additional water until the molten substance explodes. The interior of the asteroid is then scooped out, leaving it hollow. After the asteroid has cooled, you rotate it to create artificial gravity. It's time to colonize. People come in and settle. Landscape designers and ecologists all labor to guarantee that no one misses Earth, that colonies are raised, and that life thrives. You then embark on an adventure to explore our solar system and beyond. Who came up with this idea first? Robert Goddard proposed the concept of a generation ship in 1918. A generation ship is a spacecraft built for interstellar travel. Because it would take thousands of years to even reach adjacent star systems, the initial inhabitants of such a spacecraft would perish, leaving their descendants to continue the intergalactic journey, thus the name. Dandridge Cole proposed utilizing a hollowed-out asteroid as a generation ship in his 1964 book, Islands in Space, The Challenge of the Planetoids. In 1979, George Zabrowski published a book named Macrolife on the subject. A full account of the process of manufacturing a hollow asteroid ship with pictures is provided in The Usborne Book of the Future by Kenneth Gatland and David Jefferis. Carl Sagan's 1994 book, Pale Blue Dot, A Vision of the Human Future in Space, includes an artistic portrayal of the notion of such a hollowed-out asteroid spacecraft by David Hardy. In one of the episodes of Star Trek, the original series, the Enterprise is shown saving a planet from an asteroid, only to discover that the asteroid is inhabited by a generation ship called Yonada. Taking inspiration from these ideas, Project Hyperion was launched by Andreas Hein in 2011. While the idea of hollowing out an asteroid may seem too far-fetched, the concept of this project was to explore designs for a generation ship. Other aims of the project included assessing the feasibility of such world ships vis-a-vis -vis currently available technology. It also aimed to inform the public about such crude interstellar travel. The project was successful in the sense of bringing forth futuristic starship ideas, for example, the Stanford Taurus, and in terms of springing up estimates for the number of people to be sent in such a ship to colonize another planet. It also suggested possible target star systems where such a ship could travel. The primary team members of that ambitious project are now affiliated with the Initiative for Interstellar Studies, and have recently revitalized and relaunched the project with team members from additional colleges, including Arizona State University. Only time will tell what Project Hyperion 2.0 will deliver. Let's enjoy the thought of a molten hollow asteroid till then, and don't forget to like, share, and press subscribe for more such amazing space-related content, because, together, we will explore.